Welcome to Field Notes, and I know it has been a while, but today we're going to be talking about bones. No, not that bones, like the ones in your body. So how many bones do you have? Usually, at some point or another, we are taught a magic number, and that number is 206. There's even a book written by a famous forensic anthropologist called 206 Bones. But they're lying. Ignoring the fact that you will have three to five coccyx bones, which fuse into one tail bone as you get older, there is one more type of bone that is usually disregarded in the magic 206. And these bones are called the sesamoid bone. A sesamoid bone is a bone that is embedded in a tendon, in a location where the tendon is going to roll over a joint. Since this only happens in a couple places, sometimes in your hand, and then also in your feet, there are only two real places you can find them. Usually when somebody talks about sesamoid bones, they're referring to the bones in your big toe. And there are two per big toe. These bones are about the size of a bean and are located directly behind the first metatarsal, which is in the area of the ball of your foot. These little bones help stabilize the tendon and act as a pulley and assist with the pushing off motion. They also act as shock absorbers during activities like walking, running, and jumping. However, because they are located at the bottom of your foot in a high pressure area, it is very often that these little bones will get irritated. This irritation and pain is called sesamoiditis and is often hard to treat just because the bones are so small and it's also kind of hard not to walk on them. So next time somebody tells you that you have 206 bones, remind them of the little sesamoid bones. They want to be involved. You have at least 210. So what are some of your guys' favorite mistaken common knowledge? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to like this video if you like it, subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you next time. These little bones help stabilize the tendon. These little bones help stabilize the tendon and act as a little pulley on the bl. Act as a little pulley and help with the pushing off motion. All right. Good enough, boys. Good enough.